Hey guys, I'm Cherry Holmes here with the FujiNet project, and I wanted to show a work in progress video for the JSON parser that is now a part of the end device. This is a work in progress, and work is literally proceeding as quickly as I possibly can make it happen. But even at this state, it already shows that the FujiNet can take and parse JSON data coming in from an external web service API and provide meaningful output to the Atari. This essentially means that when this particular module is completed, the Atari will actually be able to uh, parse and interpret JSON information as well as synthesize new JSON data to send back to a web service and therefore be able to communicate with HTTPS, uh, NTLS, SSL, etc., modern web services, such as Twitter, just Facebook, etc. For this demonstration, we will actually be using BASIC and I will be doing all of the commands interactively. We'll start by setting aside some variable space for the data that we're going to be inputting. To start, we will actually take and open up a connection to an HTTPS endpoint And this particular endpoint sends off some JSON that looks like a to-do list. And we're going to grab the first entry. We'll see that once we do this, it takes, opens up an SSL connection. And within a few moments, we can then take and immediately do a parse of that information using an XIO command. In this case, the XIO is 128. And now that we've done this, what has actually happened is that the JSON information that is right here on the lower right hand corner of the screen has been parsed and is now sitting in FujiNet memory, ready to be queried by the Atari for the relevant information that we want to grab. Now, of course, we can ask for these for bits of information directly. We use command number 129 to do so, and we will grab a title, for example. We've set that, and now our subsequent input has that title ready for us to consume. It went, grabbed the title, converted it into a form that the Atari could actually understand, put it into a variable for us, all handled quite nicely. And you can do this for any of the other entries in the JSON as well. It is the intention that command number 129 actually expose a full-blown query language so that you can, you can dig deep into complicated JSON to get exactly the information that you need. Some type swizzling does actually happen. Everything comes across as strings. And in the case of Atari Basic, Atari Basic will take and translate that information for us into the appropriate data type. So if we take, for example, and grab user ID, we can see that U now contains the number one. It handles this automatically for us. And we can do this for each and every single data type that we want to take and pull into. Now, Booleans are kind of special. I'm not exactly sure how I want to handle this, but for now, they are parsed as literal strings. So if we look for completed and we grab it using our string variable here, we'll see that it sends back false or true, depending on the value that actually gets sent back. So you can see even here, we can take and uh, quickly take and pull that information back. Well, what about, there's another way that we can actually do this as well. And we can actually set we can actually set the parser to the top level object or the opt or if you set the uh, if you set the node to an object or an array 
then what happens is that gets interpreted as a traversal mode. So if I take and do an input here, you'll see that the first thing we get is the key. If we take and do a subsequent input again, we get that value. Next input, we get the ID, we get one, we get the next one, the title, and we get this value. And in each case, we get the first input being the key, the second input being the value for that key. Completed, etc., and so on. So this should give you a really good idea of what is actually possible here, even at this particular point in time with the JSON parser. Eventually, it will be actually be possible to take and go the opposite direction as well and input uh, JSON data in a format something like this, for example. I'm still working at the details, but uh, hopefully you can get the idea of what ultimately will be possible. So I'm going to leave the video here, right here at this particular point in time. Uh, cut this real short, but I just wanted to show you guys where things actually stood at this particular point. In we'll go ahead and close the channel. Now the network connection is closed, and boom, we're done. And that's the, that's the end of it. So um, more to come. Yes, there will be an XML parser as well, which will work in a similar fashion using XPath queries. So more on all of that later. More to come, I said. So until next time, guys. Have fun.